Ladies and gentlemen, welcome along to Tunks and Tales. We're joined by the chairman of the PDPA, the one and only Peter Manley. Three times world finalist, I would say, Peter. You know your way around. There's only two players played more finals than me, and that's uh, Phil, Phil the Power Taylor and Dennis the Menace Priestley. Hey, that's not bad, is it? That well, John Parks matched me, and he's won two, but that's, uh, he's a little bit uh, above me, perhaps. Yeah. Well, no, no, three finals, that's enough. That, that, that's all we need to know. We don't need to worry if they win them or not. Anyway, um, great tournament so far. It's really hotting up now. Of course, we've got one semi. You've got Raymond, obviously, here in, in the quarter against uh, Stephen. But to play Phil, that would be one semi. I, th I think the, the whole the whole player, the whole everything to do with the players this year has been has gone phenomenal. I mean, we've got a young Christo Ray that no one no one had ever heard of, and taking out the likes of Wes Newton and Kevin Painter, it's yeah. been massive massive yeah. for the kid. Yeah. He's ranked number 65th in the world already from one yeah. tournament, yeah. and look what he could possibly do and achieve. Yeah, yeah it, it is amazing. In fact, our views on Tunks and Towers, I think he's our biggest viewed interview. Christo Ray, it's, it's fantastic. Well, it's great. I'd love to have a tournament out in Tenerife every year, wouldn't we? Yeah. Around yeah. about yeah. January, February. <laughs> Let's get on over that. Let's book it up. Uh, let, so that, of course, then in the other semi-final we said about the players. Um, I mean, tomorrow night, a ticket for tomorrow night. Michael against Gary. There's a little bit of rivalry oh, there. In the, oh, whatever. A ticket for tomorrow. You haven't got any spare ones, have you? I haven't, no. Oh, no, no, no. no, I actually can't get any myself. No. Uh, so I'm leaving it. Uh, might come for the final. Might yeah. come for the final. But yeah. tomorrow night is going to be electric. I mean, it's been electric all the way through. Yeah. These guys now with 800 plus averages. I remember turning up thinking, I hope I hit a 90. But these guys now are just blowing them. In. and yeah. I, I've watched loads of sport golf tennis and everything and you look at them and you think I can't do that now with darts years ago when I'm on about when the old legends the Rod Harrington's and the um, Eric Bristow's yeah. were playing um, you could actually possibly do have a chance of doing what they were doing yeah whereas now these guys now what they're performing um, people say to me would you we're waiting for your comeback <laughs> no chance with them playing like that yeah. absolutely no chance no that's it and we've got the youngsters as well like that. i think keegan brown in the last four or five months has been fantastic the way he throws i'm sure he's got a world championship in him and he, you know his age you think well oh, my god well yeah well the natural ability is yeah. you know he come to life uh, winning the youth championship and then obviously his little run at uh, the grand slam um, stood him in, you know, good stead sort of thing, and he's uh, he's a fantastic younger. He's like an old man on 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 young shoulders yes. type thing, and uh, but he's just one of many. He, he really is. I I officiate around the youth, and and that was one of Rod Harrington's better ideas, <laughs> and uh, one that's worked. Yeah, and. Um, you know, these youngsters, they sit at the tables you walk past and they're, they're talking about their games and they're like 11, 11, 12, 12, 11. And they are actually, that's the darts they're actually yeah. taking to use yeah. and it is frightening, absolutely it, frightening. It is, because at a young age, it's fashionable to be playing darts now, isn't it? You know, I, I see youngsters, that not after football boots for Christmas, they're after new sets of darts. Now, that's fantastic, isn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, my, my son-in-law's down there tonight. He's, he's sitting there and all his Ronnie O'Sullivan's walked in and he's sitting next to Andros. Townsend, who scored a penalty past Chelsea. The unfortunate thing is, a Chelsea fan. Oh, <laughs> so apart from that, it's going very well. Now this time of the year, of course, Peter, with uh, all the prize money and the rankings change, and there's one thing that comes up, of course, in the new year: the Premier League, and of course, the picks. Now, do you have any say in the picks? No, 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 no. There's nothing to do with the the, the PDPA. We don't. The, the, we supply the players for them. Yeah. Um, and really, what a difficult year it is. I mean, it's. Uh, you know, Robert Thornton's done himself proud, Vincent's yeah. done himself proud. We all know Steve Bunting, what he's done all year. Mm. Um, but you still can't, it's very hard just to throw a player out. Yeah. Um, where's Newton, unfortunately, um, he got relegated twice, he hasn't had a great year. Yeah. So I think he knows himself that he's not likely going to get picked. Yeah. So you could, there are probably a handful of probably half a dozen players yeah. that really do have a great chance, some a little bit more than others. Yeah. Um, but it really is how these players perform and ent entertain. Yeah. And that Premier League, you've got to entertain. It's part of the actual parcel of getting in there. It is. It's a big exhibit. Oh, hey, I tell you what. How about yourself, Eric and Wayne back? I well, I think that uh, I think that won't be long before that is actually back on the show. I think <laughs> Barry Hearn, you should be working on that Legends show right now. <laughs> That's exactly what we want. So then, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who wins this tournament? Well, my, my tip right from the very, very start was probably Adrian Lewis. I thought he came into the form at the right time mm. at the Players' Championship. Um, very hard to get past Gary Anderson, but Michael Van Gerwen really has uh, held the pressure well. He's, he's retaining his title and everyone thinks that that's too, too much for on a young man's shoulders, but he really is maturing and, and playing some beautiful darts now. Yeah. Um, but whilst Taylor's there, it really, really is yeah. hard to, to see past that man. And, um, 
you know, whilst we're talking this interview, Bunting and Barneville have fighting it out just yeah. for, for a place. But it is an enormous tournament because the rankings are so important and done yeah. on the financial return. Yeah. And this is the biggest tournament of all. Yeah, and that's it can make all the difference. Well, thank you so much for your time now, Peter. Ladies and gentlemen, that's one dark Peter Manley. I'm Paul Stardust. Thanks and tells. Association with Unicorn, keep me at the sharp end of the world diets. Thanks for joining us. Good night.